Okay, this is the um, internal of a Resi PD400. And um, this is here, the, um, the feed motor, which often gets dislodged and through to, to um, breakage and bangs and whatever. So this is what it looks like inside. It's quite intricate and it shows that you shouldn't really take it apart. Um, this is your front safety switch here and um, that's what it looks like inside. There you go. And, um, and then here, this is a telescope and that's how it sits. And then it, um, it sits in that, in those guides. So um, basically that's the internal of my razor. Okay, removing and cleaning the telescope. Okay, first we take the safety, um, black safety thing off. Then we gotta turn it on. Then we have to remove the needle. We go first into the menu for removing the telescope. So the needle's coming out. I've actually skipped that. So we've got to take, we've got to take the needle out. Just follow the prompts. Take the front adapter off. It's very good. Unscrew the front brass adapter. I should have loosened it first. Okay, the telescope's coming out. Follow the prompts. Bring the telescope into the perfect position. Okay, now we grab the telescope and pull it out. telescope here for cleaning. So we take the front adapter off. Okay. Got some. Yep. Clean it. Clean that um, brass adapter as well. Not all of them have that place now. Yeah. Okay, take that out. Now we clean the telescope, uh, putting it into a solution with very light alcohol and, um, and just clean it like that up and down. Okay, removing and cleaning the chuck. So the telescope is out. Um, now, I should be able to. this is the chuck inside. Yep. So we put that chuck tool in. 
and loosen the chuck and unscrew it. There's your chuck. Okay, so we clean the chuck, have a look, it spins okay, it's fine. Usually there's not a problem. So we put it back in by putting it onto the chuck tool, insert it, and then screw it in carefully and um, and that can be a bit tricky you just have to persevere okay hand tight again no pliers. Okay, we take the black chuck tool out and then we put the telescope back in and um, everything should be fine. The telescope is clean and we're putting it in and we stand it up vertically and then put the telescope in nice and straight so it catches on the chuck and then we give it a good jot. The machine will find it, but that's okay. And then we use the little finger and and just see if it is, if it's seated properly. Like, it should hold. Okay. Now, we screw on the brass front adapter. Not too tight, not with a pair of pliers, just hand tight, everything hand tight. So screw that in with that special school tool. Okay, now we go to the menu and follow the prompts. That puts the um, telescope into position. the needle and front adapter that's very important so there's little slots in there and you should clean it quite regularly and you see the dirt falling out there that's important front adapter of course always uh, it's important as well so um, dirt is the biggest enemy it's a very good example of a dirty needle um, and it should be cleaned because it will collect a lot of extra dirt and um, it's not a good thing. If you want to clean your needle without rotating, use this function here and that drives, with your navigation knob, that drives the needle out without spinning. Therefore, you can very easily check it and clean it. And then you can, with your navigation knob, you can bring the needle back as well. Okay, needle change, we go to the needle menu, of course, and then it drives the needle into the right position, automatic, and we hold the needle with a pair of pliers and press the navigation knob until it beeps. Then we insert a new needle or the cleaned needle, and um, it also helps if you can stand the, um, the unit vertical. But it does, that's fine. So put it in here until, and then we hold it with a pair of pliers until we hear the three beeps. Okay. And that's it. It's importantly, not to have a crooked or bent needle inside. Uh, in terms of needle wear, um, if you don't have the needle check function, it's very simple. The a new needle has very sharp edges and um, a sharp point. A worn needle, this is exaggerated of course, um, has very round edges on the side. Uh, it's very easily recognized. So this is important to make sure to have the needle always sharp.
Smith's uh, telescope was a um, caused by a bent needle that was forced um, and to override the um, the overload function, and then it came out on the side. It's um, very very strong, therefore it um, damaged the um, telescope beyond repair. So be very careful if you've got a bent needle or a broken needle um, to drive it and overdrive it through the overload function and the machine.